Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan and in today's video I'm going to share my binder collection with you. And you know what, I had no idea how many I had until I put them all out on my desk. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 classic binders and 3 compact binders. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm going to start with my very first Franklin planner and go from there. After my first two or three, I don't 100% remember the order um, that I got them all. So um, yeah, I'll just go through them with you and share my beautiful Franklin planners. So my very first one, okay. My very first one is the Vintage Aurora in teal. Now this to me looks like a forest green, but how it was advertised at the time was a teal was was the teal color. So I was actually very disappointed when I got it because I'm like, this is forest green, this is not teal. I was expecting the teal to be more like a greenish, bluish kind of color, but anyhow, um, I love it though. I absolutely love it now. It took me a while, I didn't love it at first in terms of the color. I loved everything else about it. Um, so I got this in the fall or the summer of 2017. And they had, I think they had three colors and three or four actually. They had this one, they had the cranberry, they had the pink, and I think they had a cognac. I don't 100% remember. Um, I really wish I ordered the cranberry as well. So hopefully they come up with them again. My favorite thing about the Vintage Aurora are, is the, the strap. I absolutely love this strap because I have had this so full and there's so much room to grow. So that's what I love about it and it's magnetic. Um, yeah, it's real leather. I love, it's just, it's the most gorgeous binder. It's got a pocket on the outside. It has a secretarial pocket on the inside um, a pocket here. It has the zippers. Now these zippers in the Vintage Auroras aren't as smooth as the other binders. With the other binders I don't need two hands. I can just um, I can just open the zipper without having to hold it steady but with, with the Auroras I have to hold it steady. Like the zippers are very very snug, very tight if that's the right word. Um, so yeah, it has some room in here for storage and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven including the window uh, card holder. Okay, and then in the back, they have this deep pocket here, and then this um, full width pocket here, and then these two smaller ones down here. Okay. And I'm just using this binder for storage right now. So they are one and a half inch rings, one and a half inch gold rings that they came with. And then I just, this is where I just store uh, dashboards that I'm not using, it's cloth and paper and Franklin planner dashboards that I'm not currently using. And then I did order the in blooms because they're just so beautiful. I had to have them and I haven't used them yet. I've had these for a really long time. It's the address phone numbers. So I just keep them in here until I'm ready to use them. All right, so that is the Vintage Aurora in the teal. Oh, and of course the two, um, what are these called? Pen loops. So that's the teal. And then my absolute favorite of all time is the pink Vintage Aurora. So it's identical to the green one or teal. I'm just gonna put these down. Has the long strap, the one and a half inch gold rings. Has the interior pocket here, secretarial pocket. And again, the really tight zipper that I need two hands for. Two pen loops, the deep pocket here, full width pocket here, and the two smaller ones here. Okay, and I just love the long strap so that as, the, as it gets full, there's lots of room. And then it has the exterior pocket here. This is my all time favorite. I love the color. I love, I just love the vintage Aurora. And you know what, had I known that these were unicorns, I would have ordered every single one if I knew that. I just always figured, I figured they always had them. 
And I think I've shared the story that my first Franklin planner was given to me by my boss back in 2008. Um, she went to the US, she got myself and the other manager, um, a Franklin planner with the inserts. It's like, um, I think it was probably one of those build your own. So it came in like a big box and it had the binder with one and a half inch rings and it had a year's worth of inserts. This is back in 2008. I, I feel like that was before online shopping really went you know, to what it is today. So when the year was over, um, inserts ran out and then I just went back to planners that you get from local uh, stationery stores like Office Depot and I don't even think Staples was around then. I think we actually did have an Office Depot back then, um, chapters, that kind of thing. So then in 2017, 2016, no, 2016, I discovered the planner community and got into the um, passion planner and then went to the happy planner. And then I was just Googling like, or maybe YouTubing, I don't remember functional planning and came across Franklin planner system. And that was it. That was it for me. So I ordered the green one and then six months later. So this one, I got the following, I think it was like May or June of 2018. And then I stayed in this pretty much for a year, year and a half, went to passion planner for a year and then went back to the Franklin planner system. So there you go. They are a bit dirty. I have the Apple Care cleaner and I've been meaning to um, use them to clean my, my binders, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I absolutely love, love, love my vintage Auroras. Okay, then after that, I think I went with the Anna binders. I'm pretty sure. My first one was the cognac color because I just love the real leather. So I went for the, the cognac. And it reminds me of the Vintage Aurora in terms of the layout, actually. So it's a snap enclosure. It is not the strap. However, it has these six, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, including the window, um, card holders. And it has this, see how smooth this is? Like I barely even need to, I don't need two hands for it. It's so smooth. So it has the zipper for storage and it has the pocket for storage, just like the Vintage Aurora does. Let me move these out of the way actually and show you the inside of the Aurora. So they both have the, the, the slip pocket back here behind the card holders. It, they both have the zipper and then they both have the pocket here. So that's what I loved about the Anna. Um, and then it had the same in the back. It had the full pocket here the full width pocket here and the two smaller ones here. Now these are taller than the, than the Aurora's, um, but same idea. And then the two pen loops, of course, and it has the zipper pocket on the back. This is not a zipper pocket, but it's kind of the same where there's more storage in the back. Okay. The only thing with the Anna's is that they are one and a quarter inch rings and I, I'm a one and a half inch planner for sure. So that is my Cognac Anna. Then after the Cognac, I got the Sailor Blue, and this is now my second favorite. So identical to this one, it's just wider. So if you can see that, it's wider. Yep, just a little bit wider, but otherwise exact same footprint. So what I like about the Sailor Blue is that I can put one and a half inch rings in it, no problem. I can fill this full, my regular one and a half inch um, worth of inserts and it snaps closed, no problem. I mean, it's probably as stretched as it can go when it's full of inserts, but um, that's what I, I love about this binder. I love the color. I use the clear page lifters that came with the Teresa Collins binders. I just love the clear aesthetic with the silver and the blue. It's, this is absolutely, I would say second place. My pink vintage Aurora is my absolute favorite. And this is my second favorite. I love this binder so, so much. So sailor blue, I believe these are sold out now. Um, unfortunately in the, in the classic size. So keep watch if they restock these again, make sure you get one. And then I got the cognac. I have not used this one yet. Um, these binders are so beautiful. I just, I wanted to snatch them up before they sold out or in case they discontinued them. 
um, I wanted to make sure that I had them all. And so this, these ones here, I find it quite challenging to do the one and a half inch rings um, just because they are more narrow and it's just a little too snug, a little too snug. Um, so yeah, I haven't used this one yet. Yeah, when I do, I will put the clear page lifters in it, but it is exactly the same inside, just a, just uh, more narrow than the um, Sailor Blue. But it is, it is beautiful. There's no question. So those are my three Annas. Cognac, Sailor Blue, and the Black Onyx. Beautiful, beautiful binders. Okay, I'm just going to throw them on the floor. Oh. Now let's get into... Actually, before I do those ones, I'm kind of trying to go oldest to newest if I can. So my Teresa Collins Franklin Planner Collab uh, binder. So this is blush and this is the black. I forget if there's a name for it. I don't think it's Onyx, but anyhow, you see that it's black. They also have a champagne one. That one just didn't, I don't know, jive with me. I guess I need to see it in person. Maybe, maybe I'll order it. I'm not sure. But for now, this one, I just... I love everything about this binder. I love the color, I love the feel. It's not real leather, but neither of them are. These are simulated leather binders. Um, these handle the one and a half inch rings very well. They do come with the one and a quarter inch gold rings. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, but if you prefer one and a half inch rings, these handle, handle them very, very well. Um, it's quite, I think because it is not real leather, it's very forgiving. So when you put the larger rings in, like it's, it's very stretchy and the enclosure i mean it'll it'll be as tight as it can go just like the the blue anna um when you have your one and a half inch uh, ring worth of inserts if that makes sense but um it's yeah it's a lovely binder it's light has the star on the snap now you can see if you can see i'm not sure but the star is wearing off from countless times a day that I open my binder and this will hit the desk. So that I'm not too pleased about. But other than that, that's the only thing I'm not 100% about. So it has the pocket here, pocket here, nice easy zipper. You can store things in there. And then it has this pocket here, the two page, uh, page, the two um, pen loops. And it has one, two, three, four, five card holders, including the window. I love the curve. So when you put, if you put journaling cards in here, I like that you can see more of it and it, it doesn't go straight across and cover them completely. I just love that look. And then you have the curve here as well. So you have two full width pockets here. Yeah, lovely binders. Now this black one I have not actually used yet, um, but it is oh, soft and just beautiful. And you can see that the um, star is fully, fully there, fully intact. That's how it should look, but I'm sure through use, I'm sure that that one will wear down as well. So it's identical inside, has the one and a quarter inch rings. Um, and here are the, these are the clear page lifters that come with it. And I haven't used these yet, so you can see they're nice and shiny. There's no scratches. These are from um, Cloth and Paper. I haven't used them yet because the Franklin Planner inserts are a little wider and the tabs of the calendar inserts cover the tabs so they're just too beautiful i, I want to find a way to use them so for now they sit in here and i just wanted to see how the black and the pink looked and i, I love it so much so i want to see if i can find a use for these so that is the black teresa collins binder okay the blush they've run out of a couple times and restocked i haven't looked lately to see if they still have it so if you do like the blush i would snatch it up just in case if it's there. Um, I have used this binder, I think three times, definitely twice for a month in total before I switch out. Usually when I switch into a binder, I stay in it for a month and then switch out another one. Um, so you can see, if you can see here, it's a bit dirty. It's a bit dirty here. So I have not used the Apple leather cleaner on this. So I don't know if it will work because it is simulated leather. I'm gonna Google it first. Or if any of you know, please please let me know. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that is the Anna binders. 
of the Teresa Collins binders. Oh my goodness, my words today. This is my Tyler binder, my beloved Tyler binder. Basic black, sophisticated. I just absolutely love this binder. This is real leather and the zipper is like amazing. It's so smooth and the inside, I mean, it lays flat. These don't get in the way. They're very, you know, kind of flimsy and, and yeah. They don't get in the way, it has the two pen loops. It just has the two pockets, or not pockets, but um, what'd you call those, slip? Yeah, slip pockets. And then one, two, three, four, five card holders here. And one pocket back here, full width. And these beautiful one and a half inch ring, black rings are probably one of my favorite things about this binder. I just, oh, this binder is just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I used this for a couple of months and then I found that my top tabs um, were starting to get, were starting to bend from this. So that's probably the only negative. Um, another negative is that it is taller by about that much from the average binder. Okay, so if you can see that you've got, I don't know, is that an inch? So it's quite a bit taller. Uh, so when this is full, it, again, it's one and a half inch ring. So when it's full, it is heavy and bulky, but otherwise it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And uh, it's pebbly, it's soft, it's semi-structured. It's just a gorgeous binder. And because it's a zipper binder, everything will stay in there. You don't have to worry about anything falling out. Gorgeous. Oh, it still smells so good. Love my Tyler binder. And next up, I have the new Sierra binders, one in um, Sagebrush and the other one in Desert Rose. So I have used the Sagebrush, I think in the month of April. I use this for the entire month of April and it's one and a quarter inch rings. I love the side pockets. I love that Franklin Thunder did something a little different. Um, yeah, so you have these kind of half pockets here and this is the full the full um, width and, uh, and length of the binder. You have the zipper here. I didn't use this a whole lot. I just used it for uh, wipes for my screens um, because I found the rings get in the way. I can't, like it does go the whole depth here of the, of the binder, but it's kind of hard to retrieve things. So I, I, didn't, I didn't fuss around with that too much. Nice and easy. Um, one and a quarter inch rings. And then this is the whole depth here, this pocket. So you can put a notepad in there if you want. I didn't though because I need all the space I can get with these being one and a quarter inch rings. I didn't want to bulk up my, my binder here. Um, yeah, lovely binder. It's simulated leather, so it's not it's not real leather. It has the two pen loops here, and it did come with the black page lifters, but I used the clear ones because the aesthetic was just so beautiful. I love this um, pastel-y color with the silver rings. And when I was using this binder in the month of April, I paired it with this um, Bailey pen because I like the white and the silver. Oh, I just love it. Love it so much. So I had it, I had my whole, like my whole life in here, all one and a half inch uh, worth of inserts. So when it laid flat, it the inserts didn't lay flat. The, the, the first few would kind of, they lifted a little bit, but I, I didn't care. Um, it was, uh, I was able to forgive it because of how beautiful the binder was. So I really enjoyed using this for the, for the month of April. The only thing is by having that many inserts in it, this strap is too short if you're going to have that much in it. So it would come out all the time. So I had to constantly um, put it back in the loop, um, because it is not long enough. I wish that they made it longer so that as the binder got full, you know, it would have enough room to stretch and wouldn't come out and, and I kind of wish that they did like a, a magnetic like a magnet in there like they did with the vintage auroras but otherwise beautiful binder and then this is the desert rose and I have not used this one yet I was saving this for July because this reminds me of the desert and the desert is hot and July is a very hot month um, here in my part of the world so I thought that that was fitting and I have the sandstone inserts all ready to go. All ready to go starting in, well, they start in July and then it's all of next year. 
no, sorry, no, it isn't. It's July until December of this year and then January to June of next year. Gosh, it's not 18 months. What was I thinking? I love how these look together. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to stay in this binder. We'll see. So watch for my July setup. Comes with the black page lifters. I will be switching these out to the clear ones. Um, same configuration as the sagebrush. It's just beautiful. Now the only thing... So I have been working in this binder to get it set up and, and get my, you know, get my system going here. And what I have found is, is that if, you know, I have it open and absentmindedly, I close the binder. See how the tabs, they get stuck in the, in this pocket. They get stuck in the pocket. And then what's happening is this is now curling up a little bit. It's like curling up a little bit because the tabs have gotten caught in there a few times and I've closed it completely not realizing. And then when I open it up the next time, um, the tabs are stuck in there. I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? So now I have to make sure that I watch for that, that I close this side first and then close the binder. I don't remember that happening with this one at all, ever. So I, I don't know. I, I checked too, the... Um, Current inserts I'm in the career, they're the exact same size, so um, I don't know what that's about. This one is not lying flat. So hopefully it will once I use it a lot. I don't remember this one not lying flat. So I did use this for an entire month and it's pretty good now, but I don't remember it, 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 um, it being so stiff when I first started using it. So we'll see. We'll see how that how that goes, but this is the Sage, no, this is the um, Desert Rose Sierra Binder. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Okay, now let's go through the two newest binders. So we have the Olivia and the Cody Binder. They are simulated leather as well. The Cody has one and a quarter inch rings and the Olivia Binder has one and a half inch rings. Um, I did recently share my... Um, review on these binders so I'm currently in this one here I just moved into this one last what's today Sunday so it's not quite been a week yet since I've been in this binder I'm loving it I love the gold one and a half inch rings and the Olivia binder actually came with the clear page lifters I was so excited when I opened this binder up and saw that because I didn't know that ahead of time uh, okay, so we have a couple pockets here, and then we have one, two, three, four, five card holders, two pen loops, and then this um, pocket here, which I don't put anything in. You could put a notepad in there if you need it, or I don't know, whatever you need to store in there. That's it for this one. It's gorgeous. It's perfect for summer. I absolutely love it. This took a little getting used to. It's closing no problem now, but because it was so stiff when it was new, I had to kind of, I had to give it a little force, but now it's no problem. Like the, um, this snaps no problem, but at first I had to really stretch it to get it in there, but now it's fine. Now it's fine. So one and a half inch rings, which I'm so happy that Franklin Planner finally did another binder with one and a half inch rings because I think I feel like it's been a while. Then the Cody binder is a zipper binder, nice and smooth. For some reason, it kind of likes to stick a little bit in this little section, but not a deal breaker. So I have not used this one yet. Um, so it has kind of the same as the Olivia binder, just a pocket here and a, and a pocket back here. One, two, three, four, five card holders. The two pen loops, this pocket here, one and a quarter inch silver rings, no pockets on the other side, uh, on the outside, and I love the brown spine. I just, I find that makes it more classy or something. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this binder. Um, every time I, a few times a week, I'm like, oh, it feels nice. It's very soft. So I'm looking forward to trying this binder out. I have not tried a uh, um, a zipper binder with one and a quarter inch rings. So we'll see how that works with how much I stuff my binders. So that's the Cody binder. And that is all of my classic size binders. So there's 12 of them. I don't know if I should be embarrassed or that's a heck of a lot of binders. 
And I have my three compact binders, two Anna binders and the macaroon. So I'm currently in the Anna binder. And the reason why I have a compact, if you haven't been following me, um, I decided to get a compact as my everyday carry because depending on where I'm going and what I'm doing, carrying around a classic size with me, it, they're, it, it's a lot. They're heavy, they're, they're bulky, and you have to have big purses. So I found with the compact that it, they're easier to carry around and they're much lighter. So if I'm out all day and it's work related, I'll probably bring my classic because there's more room. But if I'm just out running errands, I bring this little guy with me and I'm able to quickly check my schedule for the week just at a glance to see what is scheduled. Uh, yeah, so it has one, two, three, four, five card holders, plus the, uh, including the window. Has a secretarial pocket back here. It's got the zipper, same as the classic size, and it has that pocket there, which I just have my Franklin Planner sticky notes in for when I'm on the go. It still has the two pen loops, which is really cool. And then in the back, it has this three of these pockets. So yeah, it's it's really cute. I love it. I got the same one in sailor blue. I just love this color so much. So I had to have it in compact. I haven't used it yet, as you can see. Um, yeah, beautiful. These are one inch rings. The Anna binders are one inch rings, which I'm realizing for compact works well for me. The macaroon binder, which I'm so excited to get into. I'm gonna start this one in July. It's so gorgeous. I don't remember the size, but they are less than an inch. I love the flower here enclosure and I love the quilted look. It reminds me of Chanel. So nice. Now this is a simulated binder. This is not real leather. It's a simulated leather, um, but it's, it's like, it's stiff. It feels like real leather, but it isn't. So I've started to get it set up even though I'm not in it yet, just playing around with it to see what works. So I love the configuration. It's different than the other compact binders. It only has the one pen loop, which is fine by me. For compact, I don't need to carry a lot with me. Um, so it has one, two, three, four, five card holders, including the window. This back one's not really a card holder. It is that deep and regular card holders. Oh, actually it is the same. Never mind, it is the same. It's the same depth. And I just have some these appointment sticky notes for when I'm on the go and I book appointments. I just can quickly write it here. And then when I get home, I can write it in my planner. And then some inbox sticky notes just for quick, quick to do's. And then these, these are from cloth, all of these are from cloth and paper. Okay, and then this year I'm thinking of putting a quote on. Um, pocket here for stickers. And then in the back, it has one pocket for whatever you want. I just have this journaling card. This is from Elamon Paper Co. This uh, freebie that came in with, in with one of my orders, and I, I just love it. So I thought I would put that in there. But you could do whatever. I guess if you can find a notepad that's narrow enough, you could put a notepad in there. Um, yeah, whatever, whatever you want. I don't remember if I mentioned that there's a pocket here as well so you could, that you can store things in. And that's it. That's my macaroon binder. Doesn't lay flat. I've I've grabbed my big binders and I've sat them down on both sides, like heavy things, left them for a few hours, took them off, see if it would help them lay flat and it still springs up. So we'll see how that works as I write in it when I'm on the go. I guess if I, I lie it flat, I, I can write in it. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. So those are my binders. I hope you enjoyed that. So again, I don't know if I should be embarrassed or if that should be kind of like an exciting thing that I have this many binders, but holy smokes, you don't realize time flies when you're having fun and then you're like, how did I have end up with 15 binders? So that's my binder collection, my Franklin Planner binder collection. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of these products, please let me know. And definitely if you want to purchase any Franklin Planner items, use my code buy, sell, plan, and you'll get 15% off your order. Okay. So again, let me know if you have questions. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.